in this uh, small video we will discuss about uh, the sets how to join two different sets or how to represent uh, the trees in the form of sets all those things okay uh, let us take uh, three different sets we can say disjoint only if elements are not same okay let us take s1 s2 s3 as a three set s1 is having uh, entries like 0 6 7 8 you can assume this as a key s2 1 4 9 s3 like 2 3 5 these are the three sets these are disjoint because there is no common element s2 s3 is all these three uh, you can't see any what uh, similar element in the set that is why they are disjoint set now uh, we can represent this particular in the form of tree the format uh, the what the diagram what you can see is just one possibility so we can have different varieties here i took zero as the parent you can have six as a parent or seven as a parent or eight as a parent but only one parent only one okay the, uh, now i will be taking zero at the top level and remaining are six seven eight so these are connected to that parent node in the same way this is another such possibility here i took four as the root node and one nine like you can have any different uh, possibilities uh, in the third example is 3, uh, 2 I took as a parent at the top level and 3, 5 remaining are in the next level. What different operations we can perform? As these 3 are the 3 disjoint, you can combine them, the union operations. Or you can find particular element is there or not, if they are in which uh, set like that. So mainly, majorly 2 operations we can perform, one is disjoint uh, set union other one is uh, the find operations okay now i'll be combining that that is union operation i'm performing union on s1 and s2 s1 we have got 0 6 7 8 and s2 1 4 9 just combine them so that gives you the resultant union operation s1 union s2 0 6 7 8 0 6 7 8 1 4 9 1 4 9 other one is the find operation. I am going to find the element 3. Where is it? The element 3 in S3. Element 1 in S2. Element 7 in S1. Like that. So find is to find particular element in any of the set. Okay. Now the union operation can also be represented in the form of a tree. I am combining S1 and S2. This is again one possibility. You can have other possibility also. I am combining 4 to 0. Or you can combine 0 to 4 also. You can combine S2 to S1 or S1 to S2. Different possibilities you can have. So this is the first uh, tree what we have drawn earlier. And this is the second uh, tree that we have drawn. We are combining. We are combining. That is unioning. Union of uh, the first S1 and S2. We just have a link from 4 to 0. This is another possibility. Here I am joining 0 to 4. This is the possibility. So there is no like uh, this is the answer like that. These are all the possible answer. Now to represent that uh, union, because we have to program it, we should have the table. It has got two entries, uh, the set names. The first part is the set name. The first part is the set name. We have got three set S1, S2, S3, and the other one is the link. We have got three trees: the tree S1, tree S2, and tree S3. Hold the address here. S1 has the address of this one. In this field, you have to put the address of this tree. Here, you have to put the address of this tree. This is one of the representation, data representation of three sets, S1, S2, S3. You can also represent that in the form of array. So here, uh, it's a one-dimensional array. Uh, one field is uh, that index value. Other field is the parent. For parent, use minus one. Here, in this diagram, can see 0 is a parent, 4 is a parent, 2 is a parent. We have got numbers from 0 to 9. So these are the indexes 0 to 9. We created the index. 0 is a parent, so minus 1. 2 is a parent, minus 1. And uh, other one is the 4 is a parent, minus 1. Okay. Next, 6, 7, 8. Parent is 0. 6, 7, 8. Parent is 0. So you have to put 0. 
Next, one and nine parent is four. One and nine parent is four. Enter the index of that. Next, for three and five index is two. For three and five index is two. So this is the array representation of those unions. Minus one indicates the parent node here. Zero to four are the parent so entries. Minus one are put. Six, seven, eight parent node address is put. Here. That is zero. Six, seven, eight parent node address is put. That is zero. Like that for three and five, two is put. For one and nine, four is entered there in that table. Now we will solve one problem. Okay. So given these are the things, it can be you can take that as numbers. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are the numbers. Okay. The first operation, union of 0, 1. We'll see each and every step by step answer. Okay. Now they are uh, not at joint, they are disjoint, separate, unique. That is why that weight is mentioned. Weight is minus 1. 1. Each time when you add a node, it should be doubled. 1 becomes 2, becomes 4, becomes 8, 16, like that. Okay, initial height is 1. Initial height is 1. So all these are disjoint. Now the first two question is union 0 and 1. You combine 0 and 1. So 0 you can take 0 as a parent. 1 is connected to that one. Now it becomes height 2. This is at height 1. This is at height 2. Okay. Next we will go for the union 2, 3. Union 2, 3. Now earlier it was in at height minus 1. Now it is 2. This is a diagram. Next, uh, we'll go for uh, union of 4 and 5. We are going to combine 4 and 5. Combining 4 and 5. Next, we'll be combining 6 and 7. So, this is 6 and uh, 7 like that. Okay. Uh, that you have to perform. Now, the question is, uh, till here it is okay. Next, uh, you have to combine that uh, 2 to 0. You can combine 2 to 0 or 0 to 2. Anything is working. So here I am going to combine 2 to 0. 